time to wake up. This is what you need. Entertaining and educating. It's Kenny Klein TV. Tune in, please don't delay. Entertaining what we educate. This is what you need. Hey, Kenny Klein TV. Let's go. What is up, guys? I hope everyone is having a great day. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you're coming back, welcome back. And if you have yet to subscribe, please go ahead and do that. All right, so today we are taking a look at a, auto, a pair of auditors that runs into the dreaded kryptonite of the auditing community. What could the what could the kryptonite be? Of course, a court order of no filming inside a public courthouse. Now, what do these all stars do when confronted with such things? Well, let's get right into this and find out. Um, I put my bazooka in the hat and I don't have any of those things. I don't need any How you doing? What can we do for you? Uh, we're going to go toward the building and I need to get some public record forms. All right, public record forms, sure. sure. Are you recording right now, sir? Yes, I am. So, here you go. What's this? <coughs> Rut row! Zoinks! Jinkies! Jeepers! Is that the... Case number, court number, whatever. That I'm not exactly sure of. If I had to make a, no a random case. guess, I would say that's probably the <coughs> referencing the case law. And who's this judge? That's Judge Perbet. Perbet. Right. What's your name and badge number? Deputy Poindexter 244. Yes. What Sir. is that? Yeah. That is Deputy Crown Over. Crown Over. What's your badge number? 271. 271? Yes. All right. Thank you. So it's Have saying, a good day, ma'am. It's saying we can't record in here whatsoever. No, as of right now, you're actually in contempt of court. So. As you're recording right now. <laughs> Sensational. So. This is he's violating people's First Amendment rights. It's false. No way. Not this time. Uh, of course, a court order is denying people of their First Amendment right to film inside said courthouse, right? See, they're not denying that it's, you know, that it's, it's telling them they can't do it. No, 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 because that would just be stupidity. No, they are saying that, well, it's not right. Well... Buttercup, why don't you challenge it in court and see if it is okay or not? Bet you lose. Sir. Uh, I'm just I'm just asking. I'm just I asking. understand. I'm telling you here, and I've provided it right, to you as right. you see. This is a court order stating that. that you are not to record people coming in and out or inside the courthouse period. You are recording right now, which is in violation of a court order. If you do not is, stop, is that the, I will need to confiscate your cell phone is that, and take you before, before the judge. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. So under threat of arrest, you're going to... It is not threat. I am telling you what will happen. Yes, that's what they're saying, absolutely. Okay. That we do not live in the United States of America. That's what they're saying, absolutely. Okay. That we do not live in the United States of America. Can I go and get my records request? You can. You're going to need to put anything metal up here. Right, I knew that. But I can get it back, right? Okay. Yeah, you put it here because you're going to go through the metal detector. Right, okay. There you guys go. Wow. They're telling us that we do not live in the United States of America. That's a little 
no, no, not little. That is very dramatic and completely not even rooted in any kind of truthfulness whatsoever. I mean, let let's let's play along. Let us say that this the, the they were being treated as if they are living in a country that they are claiming this sort of order is talking about. Well, they more than likely wouldn't be shown a paper telling them that they can't do this. They definitely wouldn't be given the opportunity to leave on their own. In fact, their footage would have been confiscated. They wouldn't have been able to post this onto YouTube. And if they did, it would probably quickly be taken down and they would probably be charged for even putting it up there online. So, yeah, no, e even if that were true, you they wouldn't even have as much freedom as they've had to do what they're doing and you'd be able to put it online. So that is just utter ridiculousness, not to mention the fact that now a judge can make that kind of order. I, I, I don't I, I really don't understand this logic that they're thinking just because a judge does it what well, might be. It might be true and it might be okay, but I'm going to sit here and complain about it and say it's unconstitutional and it's, and it's immoral and things like this when it absolutely and utterly is not. It's just ridiculous. What did you guys think? How, how did this go? How did the auditors handle themselves? I thought the security handled the situation perfectly. He saw them approach and knew exactly what they were up to. Asked if he was recording. Yes, he did. Well, conversation in it right there you can do that you can come in and get your um public records request however you cannot record now the gentleman here did put his phone in his pocket and went in there and left it recording while he was getting his thing that could be another that's an issue but nobody saw it so there's not really a whole lot they're gonna do about it though he still was in a violation all right, guys, hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. Make sure you subscribe, comment, and like the video. All right, guys, hope you enjoy everything. All right, peace. We've only just been.